My name is Nadine um, and I'm a mum to three lovely children but sadly one of them, my eldest son Connor, was taken away from us suddenly in March 2015. The knock on the door at 7.22 will be forever just etched. That was when the walls and everything else came crashing down. Connor was um, probably only about 15 actually and he started this burning ambition that he wanted to be like dad and have a motorbike and so we made the application just for a driving licence and on the application was obviously the, um, the option to become an organ donor. Um, so I had a conversation with him then and then before we sent it off, I remember saying to him again, look, this means that, you know, you're going to be an organ donor. And he was completely fine with it, never ever realizing that we'd need to use it, but it's what he wanted. Because of the injuries that he sustained, he wasn't able to donate all the organs that he agreed to. There were three successful recipients of kidneys and liver. So again, using Connor's phrase, that's awesome. That's what Connor wanted. And, and we know that those three people, their lives have become lives and livable, that they, they're able to, to carry on, which is what Connor wanted. It was the right thing to do. And to know that three other families are having a better life because of my boy is awesome. <laughs> Because of the way that the, the legislation has changed in Wales, it's made it more sort of open to, you know, to conversation. For us, it's sort of balanced the, the trauma. Well, at least we've got that. So I would just encourage everybody to at least have that conversation and know that you can make a huge, huge impact. People are reluctant because it's not nice to think or to talk about death, but it's, it's more than that. It's talking about life as well, and that's what's really important.